Good evening friends. Today we are going to uh, meditate on the genealogy of Jesus, uh, which is in uh, particularly I'm looking at uh, Matthew chapter first. Uh, I'm not going to read the entire chapter, but uh, when it comes to, uh, to the genealogy, according to Hebrew culture, they don't mention women in their genealogy normally. But when you look at the genealogy of Jesus, let me read the uh, Matthew chapter 1, verse 3. Judah, the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Verse 5. Salmon, the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab. Boaz, the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. David, and verse 6, David was the father of Solomon, whose mother had been Uriah's wife. And if you go down, um, it mentioned about Miriam, Jesus' mother, Mary. However, in this genealogy, there are three women um, they mentioned um, Rahab, Ruth, and Uriah. Uriah's wife, um, uh, Bathsheba. Um, she was Uriah Hittite's wife. They were not Jews. And Tamar, uh, scholars are, are not clear on whether Tamar was um, Hebrew or not because uh, Tamar normally is not a Hebrew name. So number one normally women are not mentioned in genealogy and number two these women were not even Hebrew. They were not Israelites. And why they are included in the genealogy of Jesus? We have to look at uh, uh, specifically each one of them. Let us look at Tamar. The, the Tamar name, uh, name of Tamar means the date, the fruit, the palm tree fruit date. Now, the date are normally comes from the palm tree and they are hard to grow. You have to wait somewhere around 10 years to get the fruit out of it. And if you recall, the Tamar's life, she was robbed from her rights. And she had to wait for a long time to get it back what was hers. Is it possible that you are robbed of something? Is it, is it possible that you are waiting for some justice to be done to you? Jesus included Tamar in his genealogy to make sure that me and you understand that Jesus came not just for the not for the Hebrews or Israelites. His invitation is open to every one of them. And he wants to restore. Jesus is in the business of restoring what is lost, what is rightfully yours. Let's look at Rahab. Now, in English, we, we, it is a, translated as a harlot. Harlot means a prostitute. We don't know exactly whether she was prostitute or not because her names, uh, the meaning of her Rahab name is a woman, a seller of food. And normally she was having an inn and whether inn could be used for the people to rent a room for a night or inn was a place of a prostitution also. But we are not sure what Rahab was actually 
her business was. But there is a very specific things is written about Rahab. Joshua 2, 11. It says, For the Lord your God is the supreme God of heavens above and earth below. She is not a Hebrew. She is not Israelite. She is not from the chosen generation. But still somehow she has this, she might have heard because they were hearing about how the marvelous works of God and how Moses led the Israelites out of bondage and how they crossed the, the sea on a dry land. She might have heard about the marvelous work of God. as She made a decision. And that is why she said that the Lord your God is the supreme God. There is no other God. Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that this is Jesus is the Lord and Savior, you would have a forgiveness of sin. She was considering, she was proclaiming with her mouth that the Yahweh, God of Israel, is the true and only God. And that is why even she was not from the chosen generation, from Hebrew, from Israel, God has given her a place in the genealogy of Jesus. Friends, it does not matter what your business is. It does not matter what you are doing today. It does not matter what you have done in past. But if you confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior, He will consider as His son and daughter and He will give you and me a place in His family. Rahab is part of Jesus' genealogy. It's a part of family. What about Ruth? Ruth was not also Hebrew or Israelite. She was a Moabite. And actually her story, you know that, very painful story. She lost everything. And she intentionally left her own people and follow her mother-in-law Naomi. And the name, the uh, meaning of Ruth is grief. What a name. Meaning of Ruth is grief. And she says very profound thing in Ruth 1.16. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. She comes to the foot of, uh, of God of Israel, the almighty and only God. And she said that the God of Israel is my God. She is considering God is my God. Not anybody else. My personal God. She put her faith in the God of Israel. And we know that King David came from the same lineage. And Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, came from same lineage and she got the place in the family and in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Friends, you might have stricken with grief. You might have lost everything. You might have lost all relationships. You are completely broken. There is no hope. And you might be thinking, what my life is. But if you have come to Jesus, and if you have said that you are my father, and he has ability, and he has a power to change your life that you would have never dreamed of. Let's talk about Bathsheba. And the meaning of Bathsheba is daughter of oath. And she was a taken advantage of by the powerful King David. She has a no choice in becoming king's wife. She has a no choice. But 
she is a daughter of oath and god restores her when david confesses sin god restores david and god restores bathsheba friends she was also not israelite she was hitite she was wife of uria and it is possible that people has taken advantage of you without asking your permission without your your agreement people has taken advantage of you your lost things but god knows you he knows what wrongs has been done to you and he is able to restore it bathsheba was the mother of king solomon and all these all these women we talk about tamar rahab ruth bathsheba and mary was a young teenage girl she was a young teenage girl they all faced the disgrace they all went through disgrace they have suffered a tra- trauma uh, they were traumatized they have suffered a loss that the reputation was tainted but god is a god of love and he is a god of restoration he restored those five women in the culture where it does not count the women placement in a genealogy and jesus restored them and gave them a place in his family and in his genealogy you have a hope because god knows you bible says the god is close to the broken hearted if your heart is broken god is closer than you think is just a whisper away if you call him he will step into your life and he will bring you peace and joy that you will might not have experienced so far would you invite him and give him a chance god bless you and thank you